Hey, Jake, yeah, this men's game is going to start in just about five seconds behind me. I'll get out there and film those highlights next, but let's talk about the the game is underway now, by the way. Let's talk about the women's basketball game, though. Somewhat of an unconventional women's basketball. Some thought we showing in that K-State was without their starting All-American center, Aoka Lee. She had to have ankle surgery earlier this week. She did not go today, but despite that, the Cats controlled the game early and opened up a double-digit lead in the first quarter. But in that quarter, the Jayhawks lost their star center in Tiana Jackson. A contact play, coach told us after the game, actually knocked out several teeth. And quite frankly, Kansas was planning to attack the post with Lee not on the court. So with their own big going down and not returning in the game, it meant a complete adjustment to the game plan for the Jayhawks. On the fly, you know, we didn't have a good first quarter and, and I thought uh, tried to, I thought we competed hard but didn't compete in the right way. I thought we tried to do it too much individually and, and didn't move the ball. And I did think that we had much better ball movement and shared it um, significantly better in second, third, and fourth quarters. I thought it was a great crowd. And I thought, you know, so many times crowds are when you make big plays. But this crowd was different. They cheered when we needed to make a big play. Yoki's a great player and she's a staple to this team. Um, she rebounds, I mean, she blocks, she's a force in the paint, she does it all. But um, we know that we have girls that can step up and we have a lot of players who can do a lot of things. So. And now it's time to show you what I would call the biggest play of the day. K-State up by five with about three minutes left. Ziana Walker drills a massive three to extend the lead to eight, and the crowd that Jeff Mitty mentioned there came roaring to life. The atmosphere was phenomenal. Quite frankly, that atmosphere, though, makes it even more impressive that Kansas was able to battle back from down 15 to make it a one-possession game in the fourth quarter. No question about it. This was a good basketball game between two good basketball teams. Lots of fight from both sides, but the Cats do pull out the win. It extends K-State's winning streak on the season to 12 games in a row. They're ranked seventh in the country and could be climbing. And in case you didn't believe me, basketball going on right now behind me, Oklahoma State and Kansas State in the men's game. The Cats currently lead 5-2. I'm going to get out there and film these highlights, and I'll have a post-game recap from this one back here tonight at 10. Working for you live in Manhattan, Glenn Kinley, 27 Sports.